glory. I'm sure you've heard it by now. One dies in glory, but the other man survives another 32 years. His greatest years will come and get him. I'm sure you've met him. Aaron Burr, if you're here at 48, not the man's a great local enemy of the state. A politician well past his prime, chased out of his hometown for an entire
swing against the current and see where you will land. They've seen nothing yet, I've still hidden my hand. Thank you. 
not numbered. And as I smell that sweet Virginia silt, I said admire in this country that I built. Promises made, promises fulfilled. God, being John Adams must be such a bummer. I've been laboring as hard as I can, making my Republican one a land. I'm far too big to be overcome now. Thank you. 
taste of this, head to head. It ain't a proper taste till somebody's nearly dead. Mr. Jackson, you strike me as a man of action. I found that as of late, I'm dissatisfaction with the way our country deals with foreign threats of major killer. The world needs more men like you and me, willing killers. Preaching to the choir, Mr. Vice President. I tried to smoke the play myself, or never went anywhere. Jefferson always met at the screw. Perhaps what you need is the right opportunity. We're on the street is the Spanish troops are weakening. Any man with touchstone and any sense of reasoning could see that we could need a man and save it for the nation. All you need is a bullet in your gun and dedication. Bullet in your gun and dedication is my middle name. Should you need my men, just tell me where to be and where to be. Federalist nut 
the government said to you, you friends, the government lied. It's not gonna shout to you, you. I hear your long unanswered prayer. You feel like no one cares. Love is in the air. Let them hear you, let, let them
getting burned. Someone's got to be the savior. Yes. I'll put the mad little king in his place. I would like that smug little grin off his face. I'll write to Jefferson. I'll tell him everything. Tell him I'm the very thing that kept the union, the reason he saved. I'll pursue my legacy. I'll save my name. I'll kept the spotless because I'll have the fame. I'll cast aside the burden and the shame. Things will be normal. Things will be the same. This is the checkmate, the end of the game. It's not enough. It's never been enough. I've always been afraid of this stuff. Why would I
just not going to stand. Nope. No standing. A bird. Stand for nothing. What do you fall for? Did you miss me? Because I missed you. I wasn't even going to stop. Have I not been tortured enough? Leave me to my demons. I am your demon. what you wanted, 
Are you satisfied? You took one legacy you had and tossed it all aside. Let's hope you're happy. I'd be if I can. Three cheers for Amber! The rotten, wasted, lonely, lonely man. Maybe I am a lonely man.
James Wilkinson, Hardy Pooper. <laughs> Aaron Burr is a traitor, and I have the evidence to prove it here in my hand. It's a letter Mr. Burr wrote to uh, someone speaking of a troop he commands. He would start a coup in Mexico, tear the United States in two, and create his own land. How did you acquire this slut? Uh, found it. <laughs> Listen to this man. Test the governor's handwriting, and you may see he has written it himself. Well, yeah. Because this is a copy. Duh. <laughs> then why not just bring the original? Hmm? <laughs> Could it be you don't want us to see that it doesn't just implicate me? Could the governor of Louisiana be man and command scamps that partake in treachery? Not true. And even if we were, nothing in the letter is a blatant confession. There's a lot against Spain. Certainly nothing for blatant secession. This was a trend as the trial carried on. All of the valid discussion was gone. And over the sweet Virginian silt, he had no choice but to glare Not guilty. <laughs> Wilkinson is removed as the territory governor. He is condemned and disbarred. He fights in the War of 1812. He is promptly discharged. He retreats to Mexico until he finally gets reunited with the stars. In a last-ditch hope for salvation, he writes his final memoirs. In reviewing my past life, there does not appear to be anything for remorse, but little for repentance. Though certainly very much for regret. My transgressions against the laws of my creator have not been too, have been too many, but they have been video and I trust have found their remission in a contrite heart. It'll never be enough. I must retreat to Europe. I feel I am no longer safe. I will be back for you, daughter. Wait for it. Wait. I've always 
and her dies quietly and uneventful in Staten Island. On the same day, he was set to divorce his second wife. The man she acquired to carry it out, Alexander Hamilton Jr. His life was full of contrived poetic conveniences. His death wasn't proclaimed in the papers or cried out in the streets. He died alone, regretful, and afraid.